Janelle. You know, we're doing our devotion for today. So a little bit about me first. Um, I've been going to Bethel for about 18 years now, a good long while, and it is now my first year on the summer staff, which I am so excited about. <laughs> and it's been so much fun and it's just been so, oh, it's just been incredible. <laughs> so I'm so thankful for that. But uh, another, oh, another fun fact. Um, <laughs> I think this is pretty cool, but I can jump the highest out of all of the summer staff. So I think, I think you should go around and tell everyone that. I think that'd be pretty cool. But without further ado, we can get started with the devotion. So I will be reading today from Mark chapter nine, verses 21 to 24. Jesus asked the boy's father, how long has he been like this? From childhood, he answered, and has often thrown him into fire or water to kill him. But if you can do anything, take pity on us and help us. If you can, said Jesus, everything is possible for him who believes. Immediately, the boy's father exclaimed, I do believe, help me overcome my unbelief. Here ends our reading. So I think it's a pretty, it's a pretty powerful bit of scripture right there. Um, the story goes on and Jesus expels the evil spirit in this boy just with a prayer. And I think that's a pretty, I just think it's amazing what like the power of prayer and belief. So that's what I want to talk about a bit today. So personally, I find it can be pretty easy to kind of just feel like you believe, say you believe, but you don't really believe. So maybe, especially in a dark time, so maybe you're injured, maybe you're sick. I know I went through a pretty dark time recently. I was in a skiing accident and I kind of just went through it for the first little bit going, yeah, I believe in God and like, yeah, no, he'll, he'll make me better. And yeah, I guess, I guess I can pray about it sometimes, but as it went on and on and on and things just never really got better, I kind of started to realize like, hey, maybe I didn't really believe that. Maybe I kind of just said it because I knew that's what I'm supposed to say or I knew that's what I'm supposed to believe, but I didn't really believe it. And so then I started really leaning into it and I really started pursuing God and I really started trying to rebuild that relationship that I had kind of let just fizzle out. And I'll be honest, I am still struggling. I'm still not completely healed, but I am healed in so many other ways. Like I I never would I never would wish anything like this upon anybody, but it ended up being such a good thing for me. <laughs> and that's kind of it's another thing I wanted to talk about too is just sometimes it's not good just like in the scripture this boy was suffering from convulsions, he was suffering from gnashing his teeth and he couldn't speak and all of these horrible things, but it all came down to God worked through him and his life was forever changed. And he suffered, he had a hard, he had an incredibly hard time, it doesn't even seem to sum it up, but God came through, God was there for him and God had a plan. So I just want to send you out with this encouragement Sometimes life is hard, sometimes life is, it doesn't go the way you want it to, or it doesn't come out the way you expected it to, but God is still working. So uh, I'll end with a quick prayer. Um, dear God, and that is the air conditioner, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> um, all right, dear God, um, I would just like to thank you for everyone who is listening to this. Um, for everyone whose lives um, are affected by this incredible church and all these incredible people, and just everyone whose lives are blessed by just knowing your presence, dear God. Um, I would like to thank you for everything that you are doing in everybody's lives, and I pray that you would continue to be with them and work through them and around them and just give them your peace, God, in trials and troubles and difficult times and give them the knowledge of knowing and the comfort that you are there for them, God, and you are working with them, you are working through them, and you will see them through to the other side. I pray that everyone has an amazing week and that they can just see your glory everywhere. 
in your holy name I pray. Amen. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me for this devotion, and I hope that you have an amazing week. Bye.